what is up guys it's Mike HMAMO here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to the secondary run of my Gothic 3 playthrough The Path of Enos no commentary the only reason why I'm currently doing commentary is to explain you guys a bit on my character build as a servant of Enos which side I will take etc but first as you can see I have turned alternative balance on and as you can also see all my save files are gone they're not gone I have them but because alternative is on you have a different set of sheets for save files they have different codes you know so they will only be showable if you have this one activated and if you have this one activated and you have a playthrough like me, the first one, which was off, then if I go to off, reboot the game, my save files will be there. I'll show you guys. You guys will watch to a black screen just for a bit. No worries, I'm rebooting Gothic 3, you know, just to show you guys that that is actually the case. Now I have backupped all my save files of the entire Adonis playthrough, even though I only needed about two. But as you can see, my save files are still here. This is the one that I need for the Adenos rope, which was one of my earlier, um, you know, footage when I was, uh, I think, uh, when I was going with Lee to kill the king. I think it was around there. Um, but I made a new save for that, so I, I don't lose it because, like I said, I need the Adenos gear look basically. Um, even with the bow etc that's fine but I need to look for thumbnail and uh, my main safe which was uh, the servant of Adanos well, let's turn it back on and uh, go into the game you guys see will see the intro etc and then I will clear idea at least try to clear it as soon as possible and um, I'm gonna explain the character build afterwards so that you know it's a bit more quiet um, let me check the default yeah it's back back to medium fuck medium i'm gonna play it on hard of course you know that's the only way to go the remaining settings i think are still the same but anyways enjoy the intro guys and enjoy the battle of our dear and afterwards i will explain you guys on my uh, path of enos a uh, gothic 3 build and then the remaining uh, episodes of this game is, are going to be without commentary. This is not because I, you know, because I have to basically, but because there could be people out there that prefer gameplay without anyone talking in between. You know, um, for those people, I will have that th this particular playthrough. And for the other ones, you know, those that don't mind the commentary or do want the commentary, they have two options to check to choose from. You know. Um, and uh, if they want to see the path of Enos, then well, you know, you have to watch it without commentary. Um, which should be fine, I think, but at least that way I will, you know, make different groups of people a bit happy. But uh, without further ado, guys, let's go to the intro, let's go to uh, the Battle of Ardea. And uh, this is going to be tricky because it's been a very long time since I played with alternate, alternative balance. The game is going to be a bit harder, especially in hard. The training etc will be way more expensive, um, but the Paladin doesn't really have to be that strong when it comes to, uh, let's say, a strength etc. It would be nice if I could, but I want one playthrough at least with, uh, with you know, alternative balancing on and one without. And the second one is going to be which one I actually prefer. Do I prefer? with then my third run will be with if I prefer without then my third run will be without depending on you know how high can I get with it on etc so uh, without further ado guys let's go to the intro if you want to skip these loading screens at some point they will have timestamps to you know uh, allow you them to uh, just skip them because those are loading screens are most of the time very very long and there's little I can do about it you know, 
unless I want to edit stuff, which is one of the things I'm trying to avoid. Not because I'm a slacking, but because I want to have a channel that pops up as many videos out there as possible and rendering sometimes take a half a day or sometimes even a whole day just to render the video. Um, so that takes way too much time, but uh, I will explain a bit more about it later. But uh, enjoy the intro guys and uh, I will see you in a bit. This fight won't take long. Don't mind me, buddy. I'm just eating. Don't mind me. That's the way. Oh, <sighs> 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 
fight him. His ass milk. Better a laugh and kick than dying on the floor. Screw the XP. Surely cost me a lot of potions. <laughs> That's all right. Thanks, man. Good job. Tracking death's got three is really hard. Can't manually safe, you know. In that regard. Look how close. What have you done? The orcs would have let us live. Now Zardus will send even more of them after us. You need to go to Redduck. What has Zardus got to do with the orcs? What's wrong with you? Haven't you been here these last few weeks? Zardus is the leader of the orcs. He betrayed us. What else do you know about Zardus? He destroyed the rune magic, that filthy swine. Deprived of their magic, paladins and fire mages never stood a chance against the hordes of orcs. What's in Reddick? The rebel camp. It's in the middle of the forest where the wolves are. 
I can handle wolves. Yes, but those beasts are awfully aggressive, and you won't be able to find it by yourself. I think your buddy Gorn knows where it is. You should go talk to him. What should I tell the rebels? Tell their leaders to send us fighters. We don't stand a chance by ourselves. Now we're also in it up to our necks. 3 HP. How lucky. Although the timing was take a break. awesome. Because uh, I nearly died for one. I'm out of potions for two. And, uh, and that was pretty darn close. But uh, let me loot this, uh, this place and then I will... I'm gonna explain you guys on my character build. And afterwards I will quickly go to Lara's. So that in the next episode I can go with Gorn to the rebel camp Reddick which I will actually join so uh, yeah just give me a bit here to loot this entire area and uh, see if I can create some healing potions and then I will speak to you guys in a bit so one second well it's gonna take more than one second you know so don't take it literally but uh, just give me a couple of bit uh, just a bit of time and uh, that will be much appreciated so be right back <laughs> Another fine mess we've got ourselves into. What happened here? Quite obviously, the orcs have won their war against King Robar. And now the orcs are sweeping through the land, enslaving the humans. But most of all, I would like to know what happened to Lester. I can't help it. I don't like orcs. What's going on with Lester? He was going to get reinforcements. My runes have lost their power. I don't think it's any different for the other fire mages. I'm going to set out and try to learn the ancient true magic. What are you talking about? Before there were runes, only a very few, very powerful people could do magic. That knowledge must be found somewhere. I will seek it. I'll come with you. We should search separately. You find Zardis. If anyone knows about magic, he will. We will meet again. I'm sure of it. So good luck. Just like old times, huh? The orcs weren't all that strong. There must be other tougher ones. What about Lester? Wasn't he going to get some reinforcements? Yeah, some problem solving the servants. Broken. Broken.
Here it says something about alchemy. Nothing more to be had there. In the beginning, the nomads roamed the land, and the eternal wanderer led the way. Since that one is done, well, let me see how far I can heal myself up. Let me sit at a campfire. That's free regeneration while I explain my character build. Or well, then I can come go to the menu. Have a problem with that. Mm, let me heal up. As if it were so easy. I'll just wait and see. Are you serious? Alright. When it comes to uh, magic capabilities, in my Path of the Adenos I picked only these capabilities. Transformation Magic Chat with the Enos, I'm gonna go for only Magic of Dominance. Not allowed to learn summoning magic of any kind, you know, that's for a belly arm. I'm not allowed to learn anything about transformation magic, that one was for Adonos. Um, about level etc, I'm not quite sure. But uh, when it comes to fighting skills, he's gonna learn these three. The crossbow, this one of course as well. Shields and paladin. And maybe regeneration, maybe. I'm still worried about the fact that I don't think I will be able to make it. Um, with alternative IE thing on um, to regeneration but if it's possible if I manage to do so then regeneration will also be corrected and then this one is maxed 
Um, hunting, I'm not going to learn any of the bow skills, even though I already have that one. I'm going to learn these two, which is only for bow, yeah, so I don't have to learn these two either. Or hunter, I don't need that one either, I will learn these only then. That's one you have by default, or it's in the bow, but I think it's by default, but only these two, or only these few, you know. Because this is only all on bow, apparently. It does double bow damage. And uh, then we have the magical skills. I'm going to learn staves, magic staves, improved robes, which is, uh, in the game, it's light armor. Uh, learn quickly. The druid was for Adonos. The fire mage will be for this one. And the water mage was for Adonos. Dark Mage is for Baliar, and Mana Regeneration is also for every path. And then we have Magic Skills maxed. Smithing, all of them, every single skill going to be learned. Although I'm still a bit worried about the m amount of learning points that I will manage to get. And, uh, you know, if you reach 200 strength, your strength increasing is going to be more expensive when it comes to learning points, thus you have to level more. You know, which kind of make things a bit, you know, vaguely, because it's been years since I've done this option. Um, with my previous playthrough, The Path of Animals, I just barely got, you know, um, full stats, but there were still enough critters to kill. A few things to do, etc. So I'm a bit worried, but we'll see. You know, that's uh, that remains to be seen, but when it comes to full builds, I'll just explain my full builds, and if something I cannot get, you know, then uh, so shall it be. Because uh, either option, you know, with and without have to be shown. Since I'm doing multiple parts, it's perfect to show the difference. So pickpocketing I will learn. All of these I will learn. All of these. Why do I have sneak? Oh, sneak you have by default, of course. When it comes to alchemy, I will only learn these. Even though this guy will get Druid Stones, he will not be allowed to use them, because that is for Adonauts alone. Um, poison Swords I will get, and Arrows I don't need, because he's not going to use the bow. And uh, other skills, all of them will be learned. So basically this guy goes Master One-Handed with the Shield, Crossbow, um, learning these hunting capabilities, learning these capabilities, uh, that one these and these all smithing thieving pretty much all of them if possible except for this one which you can only get as a, a shishin which uh, will be the path of belly are for me the third one alchemy only those poison blade so only the top row the arrows not important you know could learn them if I have the learning points left just to earn a bit of extra gold, but other than that it's not going to be very useful since I'm going to wield the crossbow. And other skills all will be learned. And then uh, when it comes to magic, he's going to purely go for magic of dominance. So uh, this guy's going to be the, the uh, power of Enos. It's going to be a long and bumpy ride, but um, it's going to be interesting to say the least, especially for me. Because uh, I do have that fill full build in mind, you know, but it remains to be seen whether it's possible or not. Because here, because here's the thing, you know, in uh, Gothic 2 I also had to XP grind due to the fact that I didn't play with, height, uh, with Heights of Power. And after that grinding I still didn't got the result that I was hoping for. My crossbow was about 60% instead of 100. Um, pretty much everything else learned, not wasting any learning points into, you know, we useless things like um, dexterity. Uh, for example, I l didn't learn, I learned it at the Halls of Edorath because, you know, I leveled up two times in the Halls of Edorath and had no more learning points to waste on because one handed was maxed and in your crew there's no one that who can teach you the crossbow so that was out of option so I had to leave it with about 64 65% um, 
if that happens the same with this one then so shall it be but at least it will show the difference with and without alternative balance but uh anyways guys i want to thank you guys for watching if you like what you see thumbs it up in the next episode i will go um back to a no commentary mode and um just play through the game in this particular i almost forgot in this particular playthrough i'm gonna join the rebels and become a fire mage as paladin and in the desert i will join the nomads and in Nordmar I will join the Nordmarians and uh, thus I will collect their armors and uh, since I failed to collect the ranger's armor with my path of Adenals due to the fact that I killed Runag and uh, Torn the two you know quest related druids which you have to kill for the orcs um, which are the only two where you can actually purchase gear from now you only have the druid robe and the ranger's outfit with this particular path and with the path of Balayar I will get the ranger's outfit to signify the ring of water basically you know it's not really really the same but it will make the connections a bit towards my characters towards each other a tiny bit you know a tiny bit but uh, yeah thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope you in will enjoy uh, the comment uh, commentaryless gameplay but uh, you gotta try to keep people happy and since I'm doing multiple parts you know I'm gonna try to make everybody happy even those that do not want to have someone chatting in between you know so thank you guys for watching subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell thumbs up thumbs down positive or negative feedback anything is welcome and uh, I hope to see you guys in the other upcoming videos of this particular playthrough or the other a particular playthrough videos of any other game that I will upload from now and in the future so yeah see you guys next time and uh, leave a thumbs up behind guys leave a thumbs up behind and unlock the hardcore run the no death allowed full build full build everything everything ladies and gentlemen so uh th likes it thumbs it up and I'll see you guys next time